uh, hi everyone and welcome back so let's start our journey of scrapping web with node.js okay so we are going to use puppeteer and cheer io these are the the two modules we are going to use so we'll just get started what you need to do and what puppeteer core or puppeteer module does so this is puppeteer module which is available as a npm module okay so what puppeteer uh, module does so let's explore it so this is puppeteer module we can install it go globally or install it locally for a project or you can also install cheer.io which is another library we are going to use to scrap web with node.js so what the syntax talks about if we just look at this this we can simply directly use puppeteer.launch it is actually going to launch the web page with this website and it will take the screenshot so there are a lot of features which puppeteer is allowing us you can inspect the dom you can query the dom once you launch the web page but this query task and all we are handing over to the cheerio library which is good for inspecting dom and extracting the data from the dom we are getting so here i mean you can do a lot of things you go to that page and you just convert that page just extract the page content inside a pdf of a4 size and you will just get it right uh, so these are the default settings you can actually run this puppeteer in the headless mode or you can also launch a browser so launch a browser means it will launch chrome uh, browser for you once you are putting headless as a false it will launch the browser and whatever the processing is happening like clicking onto some button going to some website navigating to some another link uh, once you launch puppeteer everything you should be able to visualize okay so what we are going to do is first of all we will be doing the setup of puppeteer so for that we will come here and what we need to do here is npm install uh, puppeteer so first thing we have to do minus minus save your package name So here you specify your package name. We already have these two packages already installed. So you have to install Puppeteer. So you can put Puppeteer. And there is one more module which you can use that is Cheerio. So these two primary modules you need. You forget about anything else. We don't need Axios, Express, and all. Okay. So once you are able to install, we will start utilizing Puppeteer to launch the the chrome either in the headless mode or either in the browser mode where you are launching a browser so what we can do is uh, we are just copying the the code which is there in the documentation to launch a browser okay so what we are doing here is this is a simple uh, puppeteer code we are requiring it and we are launching the browser puppeteer.launch if you want to run this in the headless mode you can just run it true otherwise you have to make it false okay so it will launch the browser now next thing is once the browser is launched you have to provide the the page which you want to open right so here we can do uh, we can actually get the page and we can launch that page here so from the browser instance we are getting the page and page dot go to uh, anything google.com okay now if i try to run this this is async start browser so in index.js what we can do is we can call this method and we are exporting this start browser from this file so we can import it here cons launcher equal to require here we can just pass browser and we can do launcher we can just call this method okay and what we can do is node index.js we just need to do node npm install okay let's clean out our package json we don't need axios we don't need express i just have some linter dependencies as a dev dependencies that should be fine so i'm doing npm install it will install the required modules for me okay so it will be downloading the chromium for the puppeteer so it will take some time 
then what we need to do is we just need to call this launcher function which launcher function is call will launch the browser okay so what we can do is npm run start okay and it will launch google.com for us so this is what it is doing okay when you do control c it will exit so this is the first thing we have done now what after this we are able to launch a browser browser is able we are able to open it now how do we in browser like now how do we do the scrapping like in the google home page you search something you should be able to enter something in the text field you hit uh, you enter on that google search button you get the search result you want to scrap those search results how that is possible right so here if you just go to google.com so i will search this and i wanted to scrap these search results this is what i want to do as an initial task so what i can do is i move to this now what i need to do is i need to populate so let's go to google.com here we need to write this content right so we are actually adding some content to this dom node so it's all about inspecting the dom finding out what is the div of this particular particular dom node uh, is there any particular class we can utilize this is also called as an xpath in the language where you can actually look into this particular dom node you will find a unique path which is xpath or you can also find a unique div tag which is available here only which you can use so if you see here it is going to launch in the headless so if you make it as headless true it's going to be the same but it will not launch a browser in this case it will help you everything in the headless mode it will launch the browser internally and it will try to inspect the dom and will give you the output accordingly okay that's it in this video thanks everyone